Let's do a radical summary of this upload. You know, I, I could go into great detail about this, but I already spent 24 minutes checking out this young A upload. I'm surprised I did not fall asleep. And also, about 10 minutes split between his two review uploads of Cyberpunk 2077. You know, I really go all out for you guys. I really go all out. I do, you know. This is going to be like, between all this, like an hour for this. Man, oh man. You know, jeez. It's an hour of my day on this shit. So we got high-level e-bagger, Young Ye, and I'll get into that in a moment. With his upload, unlisting my Cyberpunk 2077 review and reflecting on mistakes during review process. Here's a weird thing. He even made a mistake in... He didn't delete it, but he was going to delete it. I guess he got some blowback. So he unlisted instead of deleting, right? Because he's shameful of the reviews. Basically, he felt like he didn't do that good of a job uh, in his review of Cyberpunk, Cyberpunk 2077. Like other reviewers who sped through the game, like Dreamcast Guy, who gave it a 9 out of 10, these people sped through the game and pretty much only focused on the really nice bits. And you know what? Ah... Uh, there are a couple nice bits on, on the PC version. Things like the character animations. Yeah, I agree with Young Yan on that one. Right? Not bad character animations in the cutscenes. <sighs> but I could see how he could be shameful and ashamed of those uploads. Because on the one he said, and he wasn't joking, he said that was one of the most gorgeous if not the most gorgeous, gorgeous, highly detailed, the attention to detail was immaculate, open world he had ever seen in his life. Really? Uh, okay. The PC version, it had some bits where it looked okay from the gameplay he showed. And again, character animations, not too bad. Character models at some cutscenes. Again, in the PC version, right? Not the console. Crap versions. Not bad, but uh, I'm going to display display a sh screenshot right here. This is from one of his reviews, and this is something that he used, right? Look at all the gorgeous detail in that game that looks inferior to a lot of Grand Theft Auto games. You know, come on now. Come on. Shilly, 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 Mr. Shill. Now, I, I don't say that lightly but this guy with those reviews he obviously was shilling for cd project red he was a big fan a big fanboy of cd project red because i mean and i see why he's shameful so do you want me to give him a point for actually coming out and you know addressing this and saying he's ashamed of the uploads i don't know i mean i guess he didn't have to do that but again like Oh, this guy's a knee beggar. Oh, yeah, how, how could I forget? I mean, a lot of you that have followed me in the channel for years understand how I feel about Young Ye. Uh, he has the $200 Patreon tier. Now, the, uh, the link that he put in the description here, right? Um, he enlisted review part one, part two. He made the links available, but not before... He put them right up under the Patreon right there. So he makes sure to put the Patreon right before. So if you're trying to go down and scroll down to see those, the Patreon's right on the top there. And then sandwiched between that, he talks about the top patrons. Cypher, Joseph Lavioe. He is a cypher. And that means he is the number one simp of Yang Ye. He is his sugar daddy giving this guy $200 every single month. $200 a month from this guy. You know, I would feel bad, Young Ye, taking $200 from this guy a month. I would feel really fucking bad about that. I mean, just think about that. That is $2,400 a year from one of your YouTube uh, audience just someone that checks out your uploads, right? How can you sleep at night knowing that you're taking that much money from somebody each year to talk about and review your video games? Maybe the guilt's actually catching up to them, right? 
I mean, this guy, he's giving you $200 every month to actually upload non-shill reviews. And that was a show piece. So maybe that's what it is. I mean, everyone's got a limit. I mean, sometimes people can actually get shamed and have guilt. Maybe this young guy, young yay guy, maybe he actually has a little bit of guilt he's feeling, right? Because if you're going to eBay, if you're going to take that much money from people each single month, then at least get your fucking reviews right. Now, a rosier look at this that some people might say is, well, young yay, he's being the bigger man. He is trying to own up to his mistakes, right? I would say to that, if he wanted to be a bigger man and own up to his mistakes, he would drop that $200 Patreon tier. That's the biggest thing he could probably do to own up to the mistake of e-bagging, which is a big mistake not only Yang Ye is doing. That's it. Radical out.